Happy Friday, Rangers! We're back in the classroom with jurors. Uh, so today is Friday, and um, it's brought to us by the letter J. So we're going to learn about a few animals that you haven't heard of that start with J. We'll then go over a quick review of the week, and I'm going to give you some quiz questions for you to jot down in your field guide. Take the weekend, do your research, do some learning, and we'll review on Monday. But let's kick off. What animals can you think of that start with J? Give it a thought, huh? Jaguars, yep. Um, jackals, very good. Uh-huh. Yeah, list some other ones in the comments. Great job. Now we're going to learn about three animals that I hadn't heard of. Well, I'd heard of some of them. And maybe you haven't heard of. So, let's get to it. J is for Jacana, also pronounced Jacana. I heard both when I was doing my research. What's a Jacana, Jacana? Well, a Jacana is a medium-sized wading bird that lives in tropical and subtropical areas all over the world. So it's found in South and Central America, it's found in Sub-Saharan Africa, it's found in Asia, and even Australia. So again, it's any of eight species of medium-sized wading birds. But what sets these birds apart from other birds is a couple unique features. First of all, they're nicknamed the Jesus Bird. Why? Because it looks like they walk on water. Whoa! But they don't. It's an illusion. They have really, really big feet and claws and toes that help displace their weight so that they're really just walking on uh, submerged lily pads and vegetation, but it gives them that illusion that they're walking on water, which is pretty cool. If you see a picture of them and you see their feet, you're like, whoa, those are some big feet. Um, so... Another interesting thing about the jacana that's different from other birds is that females, um, and females I believe are slightly larger, and they mate with several males, and then it's up to the males to incubate and care, for, incubate the eggs and care for the chicks. And jacana males are excellent fathers. They have some amazing characteristics that allow them to care for the chicks, including an adaptation that allows them to carry their chicks under their wings when there's danger about. I'll go ahead and post a silly video of that below for you to enjoy. Um, so uh, females are larger than males. They mate with several males, um, leaving them with the parental duties. And they are insectivores. Again, their big feet and their um, long beak are excellent for snapping up uh, insects and small invertebrates that are in the water. Uh, so, again, I encourage you to look up the Jacana, Jacana, you say Jacana, I say Jacana, and uh, find out more about these incredible birds. Um, I learned about a couple other birds that started with J that were funny sounding, including the Jabiru and the Jacamar. We're not going to go over them today, but I encourage you to, um, to check those out as well. So, again, Jacana, J-A-C-A-N-A. Jacana Jacana. All right, the next critter we're going to learn about, oh, is adorable. The Jerboa. Jerboa. Can you say Jerboa? So J E R B O A. Jerboa. The Jerboa is a, a very small, it's actually any number of 33 different species of a very small desert dwelling rodent um, that lives in Saharan Africa, deserts in Saharan Africa, Asia, and Eastern Europe. Fun characteristics of the Jerboa include very, very large ears, excellent for hearing, long feet, excellent for hopping, um, and it does hop around sort of like a little mini kangaroo or similar to the kangaroo rat that lives here in the United States. It has a long tail that's almost longer than its body, and that tail is used for balance when hopping around and also sort of as like a little pedestal, a little stand when it's sitting up, which is pretty cute. Um, oh, and we have the kitty cat. And Mr. T the Tiger is joining us for safari today. Ugh. All right. So um, the Jerboas, mostly solitary. He's just going to have his butt in the way, huh? Boop. 
So jerboas, uh, mostly solitary little creatures. Uh, they have superb hearing and are extremely quick, which is probably what keeps them protected from predators, such as owls. And um, they are crepuscular, which means they come out that's right, at the cooler temperatures of dawn and dusk. And so similar to another animal we learned about this week, do you remember which one? The fennec fox, that's right. That spends most of its time, the heat of the day, uh, inside its burrow, and then it comes out at night or during the cooler times to hunt and whatnot. So um, they uh, doop, 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 doop. Interestingly, they hibernate. You're like, well, I didn't know there was winter in the desert. You bet there is. And they spend that cold hibernating in one of their burrows. So that's pretty cool. They are omnivores. They eat plants um, and bugs. And females give birth to um, about two to six young. Uh, cool. So go ahead, look up a gerboa, J-E-R-B-O-A. Trust me, you won't be disappointed by how cute these little critters are, that's for sure. And they're tiny, too. Um, maybe you want to try drawing a jerboa this week, huh? All right, so let's go on to our third J animal. J is for jaguarundi. What's a jaguarundi? Well, it's a medium-sized wild cat that is about two times bigger than Mr. Tangy Cat here. And it's native to southern North America, so um, the southern United States and Mexico. And Mexico and also it's found throughout South America as well. Um, it's a typically solitary creature and it's sort of got like a gray brownish reddish coat. Um, again it's a feline. It's most active during the day unlike most other South American or New World cats such as the ocelot and oncilla which you'll learn about next week. <laughs> Females give birth to about one to four kittens. They live in a variety of ecosystems. They're very well adap adapted. Um, they can live anywhere from rainforest to shrublands uh, to the even the desert, too. So they are efficient climbers and swimmers, but prefer to keep their feet on the ground. Um, but they are, because they are... Um, such a versatile climber, swimmer, mover, they're able to access a lot of different kinds of prey. And so um, they really eat anything from like small birds, reptiles, rodents, other small mammals. Uh, the biggest predators that they have to worry about are boa constrictors, mm -hmm. uh, other big cats like jaguars, cougars, pumas, and then domestic dogs as well. And as with most animals that we've learned about, uh, their populations are declining due to human action, such as deforestation and expansive agriculture. So while they're not quite considered near threatened, they're certainly um, an animal that needs to be studied more, monitored, and a plan needs to come. Uh, people need to come up with a plan on how to save this animal. Cool. So those are the three animals. Again, these are just some really quick, mostly true facts about them. But if any of these animals, you know, interest you, I highly encourage you to go ahead and do more research on your own. So let's go ahead real quick. Let's review the animals that we learned this week. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you your quiz questions. I'll go ahead and uh, leave them in the comments above and you'll have all weekend do your research look over your field guide notes and go ahead um we'll we'll review these answers on monday so let's talk about the animals that we learned today we started off the week with f f is for fusa frigate bird and the fennec fox and oh so fusa frigate bird fennec fox and then Mr. T, you're not helping here. G is for Guanaco, Jerinuk, and T's still not helping here, and Galago. So again, that's Ger Guanaco, Jerinuk, and Galago. H is for Hyrax, Hellbender, and Watson. That's such a fun word to say, Watson. And then I is for Ibex, Ibis, and Indri. Quick question, 
did you take a note from the injury this morning and maybe enjoy a nice uh, morning meditation? Closing your eyes, facing the sun, enjoying the sunshine on your face like the injury does? Mm -hmm. I suggest it. And then finally, our last letter of the week, J for Jacana. Jerboa and Jaguarundi. So again, uh, our quiz questions for the day. Number one, how many birds did we learn about this week and what are they? Which two animals live in the desert? Which animals have hooves? Or Ungulates. How many ungulates did we learn about? Those are hoofed animals. Which animals are considered at risk or endangered? Which animals live in Madagascar? And fun question or, you know, fun quiz. Draw your favorite animal from this week. Again, go ahead and post in the comments. I would absolutely love to see your artwork of a jerboa or an indri or a fusa. Um, so that concludes week number two of the A to Z animals you've never heard of. Lucky. Remember, if you're enjoying these virtual safari schools, you can always show your support by contributing to the Healing Our Planet Everyone or Hope Foundation or Hope Fundraiser on GoFundMe. Again, this allows me to commit consistent acts of kindness in my community as well as around the world. So if you're enjoying these episodes, if you want to donate like a dollar an episode, every dollar counts. And I, I sincerely appreciate you for not only joining me on Safari, but for caring about our incredible world. So as always, Stay wild, stay beautiful, have a wonderful weekend, get out there and explore, Rangers. Appreciate you all. Bye.